What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for listening to the Elective Rotation, a critical care pharmacy podcast. This is episode 399. In this episode, I'll discuss the biggest risk to using phenobarbital monotherapy for severe alcohol withdrawal. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 399. Phenobarbital is a very effective option for treating severe alcohol withdrawal. A recent retrospective analysis of three protocols, one using diazepam alone, one using lorazepam and phenobarbital, and one using phenobarbital alone, observed similar rates of ICU admission, length of stay, and need for mechanical ventilation between the three protocols. Phenobarbital has beneficial effects on GABA and glutamate receptors, which are the two most important receptor targets in the management of alcohol withdrawal. There have been some excellent write-ups of phenobarbital monotherapy recently on the Palmcrit blog, and I've linked to two of those in the show notes. The biggest risk I see with using phenobarbital for alcohol withdrawal is whether or not it is done with good coordination between departments. Giving benzodiazepines after phenobarbital may increase the risk of respiratory depression. Therefore, there must be good coordination between the ED starting phenobarbital and the floors or the ICU who may potentially give benzodiazepines on top of phenobarbital doses. If the floors or ICU are unaware of prior use of phenobarbital and give large doses of benzodiazepines, they may be caught unprepared for the respiratory depression that could follow. Members of my Hospital Pharmacy Academy have access to over 75 in-depth practical trainings, including one on the treatment of severe alcohol withdrawal. To get immediate access to these and more resources to help you in your practice, go to PharmacyJoe.com Academy. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.